So to guide our AI and to write a better doc string, we should probably say explicitly what we want our function to do if the input is not above absolute zero. Now one way we can do that is by writing more text. But another way is by writing an example of what the function should do if the value is below absolute zero. So we'll write a test case. Now in Python, a simple way of writing test cases is using what we call doc tests. So doc tests are written as part of the doc string. We will pretend to be inside the REPL while we are inside our doc string. Let me show you what this looks like. Here's an example. So once again, our doc string starts on line two, and in this case, it ends on line seven. Remember, with triple quotes, we can have multi-line doc strings. All of it must be indented correctly. So this doc string, again, just tells us what to do as long as the temperature is above absolute zero. Convert that temperature to Fahrenheit. But here, we have pretended to be inside the REPL. We're not actually in the REPL, but we use the same syntax, greater, 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 and then we pretend to call our function with a value that is below absolute zero. And then when we press enter, we also tell it what value to return. Now, this is not a number. What is NAN? In fact, it stands for not a number. So if you search for this online, you will often see it capitalized like this, capital N-A-N. -N. It really just stands for not a number, and it's a special kind of float value. There are two other special float values that you should be aware of, inf and minus inf. They stand for, no surprises, infinity and minus infinity. But these are special floating point values. So here, as part of our doc string, we're making it very clear that if uh, the value is below uh, absolute zero, then we want to return not a number, this special floating point value. We don't want to return a string, and we don't want to raise some sort of error message. So we will always return a float. And this time, our generative AI understands our intention. And it writes a check that if the value that's given is below minus 273.15, return the floating point NAN. And this is how you do it. Now, we didn't know this syntax. And indeed, we haven't even seen this if condition syntax. But our generative AI is understanding our purpose as expressed through the name, through the parameter, through the doc string, and the doc test. So four ways in which we have prompted our generative AI. You might hear people talk a lot about prompt engineering. And indeed, prompt engineering is an important skill. But here we are doing something much less sophisticated than prompt engineering. I like to call this technical prompting. We are making use of our technical skills as Python programmers. We know that there is something called the signature, which conveys important information. We know that there is something called the doc string, within which there are things called doc tests. We could write many doc tests. And all these technical concepts that we know about can be used to prompt generative AI. So we are making use of our technical prompting skills. By the way, you may have observed that in the doc string, we have said what we want our function to do if the value given is above absolute zero. In the code that our AI is suggesting, it tells us what to do if the value is below absolute zero strictly less than minus 273.15. So this might suggest to you, well, what if the value is exactly equal to absolute zero? What is the intention then? Let's add one more doc test to make this intention very clear. I go here and I start adding two Fahrenheit 
with the exact value minus 273.15. When I press enter, my generative AI makes a suggestion. Well, maybe in that case, the answer is 0, 0.0. Wait a minute. Is that the correct answer? Remember, we want to convert any value that is above absolute 0 to Fahrenheit. At least that's our intention. This value is not above absolute 0. It's equal to absolute 0. So perhaps in that case, we should return NaN. If, on the other hand, this slightly imprecise term was meant to include absolute zero, then we should make sure that this answer is correct. And in fact, if you use a calculator to figure out what minus 273.15 is by multiplying it with 1.8 and adding 32, you'll find that this answer is not correct. 0.0, .0 is very far from the correct answer in Fahrenheit. So please remember, this is one more example of many that you will see in this series of lectures. Don't blindly trust generative AI. This suggestion is a terrible one. Either it should have suggested NAN, just like here, or it should have suggested the correct answer.